It's not easy to be a winner. It takes hard work. It belongs to the brave. It belongs to the strong. Everybody wants to win, but nobody wants to play the game. Nobody wants to face the music. It's not easy to be around winners. Because winners are very strong, plus they're very strict. It's not easy being around winners. They're very disciplined. So losers don't want to hang out with winners. Losers are losers because they don't want to hang out with winners. With winners. They want to be by themselves doing their own stuff. They cannot commit. They cannot be faithful. They cannot keep the discipline. And they are fed up and tired of being tested and being disciplined. Losers want to go far away from the winners. Now tell me, was Jesus a winner or a loser? Winner. So everybody wanted to stay away from him. Huh? But those who stayed away from him, they were losing out. They were becoming bigger losers. But when they came near Jesus, they couldn't understand him. They didn't like the way he talked. They didn't like the way he says, I am from heaven and this and that. They didn't they think he is very boastful. Call himself the son of God. Ha ha ha. They don't like him. The losers, they did not like him. They did not want to be around him. They want to be far away from him. Let's start with John chapter 6, verse 65 and 69. Let's see this. And he said, Therefore I have said to you that no one can come to me unless it has been granted to him by my Father. From that time many of his disciples went back and walked with him no more. Aha. Then Jesus said to the twelve, Do you also want to go away? But Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Many disciples went away from him. But the faithful disciples remained with Jesus. Stop. You will be hated because of me. People 
very tough. How many of you are hated because you come to this church? People don't hate you, but you still don't come. But Jesus said, you'll be hated because of me. People will persecute you for my sake. Only those who wants to be persecuted will go with Jesus. Those who do not want to suffer will not go with Jesus. We don't only those who want to have a party will come with Jesus. But Jesus made it so difficult for them. And Jesus said, If you want to come with me and follow me and be like me, you have to even die for my sake. Oh, oh, hated, persecuted, die for you, and still follow you. But those who remained with Jesus, they knew Jesus was a winner. That's why they remained. Amen? Many walked away. But those who remained with Jesus, they wanted to be around Jesus. Because if they're around Jesus, though it's tough, though it's hard, though it's difficult, and though it's not nice at all, they know there's going to be something big happening somewhere, someday for them. Amen. Those who are around Jesus, they know if they're around, stick around with the winner. If they stick around with Jesus, there's going to be something good for them someday. And this Peter, Simon Peter, he understood. Where should we go? You have the words of eternal life. Simon Peter saw something in Jesus. Something good. Something only Jesus can have. Only Jesus, only in following Jesus, you'll get eternal life. And Peter knew that. That's why though it was hard, though it was tough, amen? Though the others left, he was still there. I know it's not easy to be a leader with me. It is not easy to be around me. I know I'm a difficult leader. But that's because I want to make you winners and not losers. Losers will leave and losers have already left. But you are so blessed because you are still here. It's tough to be with me. <clears throat> but it's much tougher to hang around a winner like Jesus. Unless you know that he has the power of eternal life. But if you know he has the power of eternal life, you're never going to leave him. Because that's something that you want. And you can't get from anywhere else. Amen. Look. Elisha followed Elijah. Elisha was running after Elijah. He said, don't come. He said, I will come. Elisha was running after Elijah. He said, don't come. He still came. Why? He wanted a double portion of the anointing that was upon Elijah. But I need people who see the value of sticking around me. Amen. That if even if I tell you not to come, you will come. Even if I correct you, you will still come. If I rebuke you, you will still come. If you are persecuted and people hate you because you come with me, you will still come. Why? Because you see something good coming out of this relationship. Don't come if you don't see anything, any good thing coming out of your relationship with our church. Or with me. If you are going to go to hell because you come to me and you come and stick around with me, don't 
come. If you're going to live a wretched life, because you come around here, don't come. But if you see something like Eli Elisha, he would not leave his master. He saw something and he wanted it. And he was still there till the last of him. And he got what he wanted. The mentor of Elijah came upon Elisha. And you know what? Sometimes it looks so foolish to follow someone like me. But if you see something coming out of this relationship, and those people who are going to make it so easy for you to follow them. I'm telling you something. They are only trying to get something out of you. Yes. They need more followers. They need more votes. Politicians. If they say, hi, how are you? And come smile and shake your hand. That means they need your vote. And we look at Israel, the fellow Joshua. What a silly thing to do. Following Joshua, going around the walls of Jericho seven times, just walking around the walls of Jericho. And the walls of Jericho are so great. What a silly thing to do. But why did they follow Joshua? Joshua was just another Israelite like them. But they followed him. It was such a foolish thing to do, walking around seven times. Such a huge city. But Israel followed him. Why? Because Joshua heard from God. Joshua heard from God. And they followed Joshua around. They did the silly thing. They did the foolish thing. But when they did it, the walls came down. When you look at it from the loser's point of view, it was such a foolish thing. I'm telling you, stick around great people, stick around prophets, stick around men of God, stick around the church, a good church. If you want to be a winner, if you want, if you want to be a winner, don't go out with losers. They will make it look nice. They will make it look good, but it's just in the surface. In the inside, it's all about them. It's all about selfishness. It's all about greed. It's all about pride. It's all about building your own empire, your building yourself up. So it's not. It was not easy to follow Jesus because Jesus would say things like, "You are going to be." Hated, you're going to be persecuted. And for some of us, it's not easy to follow me and be around me because I tell you to come to church regularly. Because I tell you to lift up your hands, open your mouth, and worship God. That also is very difficult for you, isn't it? Some of you may hate me because I tell you to come to church regularly. That itself makes me a difficult person. A difficult person to follow. Because I rebuke you. Because I correct you. Because I tell you to be diligent. Because I ask you to pray. Because I ask you to fast.
But if you walk away from it all, then you know you are a loser. Yeah. Winners, they will take up challenges. Amen. Winners will be tested, but they will come out victorious. Even Jesus was tested, you know that? In the wilderness, the devil came and tempted him. The devil tempted him. Even Abraham was a great leader. The patriarch of the Israelites. They all came from him. But he was tested by God. Can you give me your son? Your only son, can you slay him for me? Winners, they go from victory to victory. They live an overcoming life. It means there are so many hurdles on the way. There are difficulties on the way, but they step over them all. They don't quit. Now look, losers like to surround themselves with the weak people. If there are some people who are weaker than you and you can control them, you feel comfortable staying with them. But if you stick in places like that, you will never rise above yourself. If you stay and you just stay with people who are weak, you are going to be like them and you are not going to rise above them. If you want to rise above them, above them, and if you want to rise above yourself, you go and have to. Uh, you have to. You're going to have. Go to have. You have challenged yourself by going after things that are higher. Go with people who are more excellent than you. Yeah. Jesus wants us to be like him. And he said, follow me. But you know what? Jesus was holy. Jesus was perfect. That's a difficult target. I myself am not perfect. But I'm still trying to make you better. But if Jesus is perfect and Jesus is holy, it must have been really tough for the disciples. No wonder there were only 12. And even out of those 12, one was a crook. One was fat. There were so many people who heard him. There were so many people who saw his works. But very few who stay around him, who stay with him till the last. Even in our church, many people came, many people fell to the floor, many people rejoiced, jumped and danced and got converted. But many people left. It's not easy to be among winners. But losers, they want to stay among the losers. They want to stay in the small pond and appear big and dominant. They feel more comfort comfortable with people who are weaker than them. And when they go around strong, stronger people, they feel weak. They feel powerless. And they don't want to be around them. Those are losers. But winners will take every challenge. Losers 
love to rule in small places. Yeah. They are comfortable with ordinary things. And they're not willing to take the challenges of higher things. They want to remain in the comfort zone. They don't want to take any risk. That's why they never grow. They never win. They never rise up. That's why they're losers. Always remain the same. They don't like being tested. They don't like being corrected. And they hate being rebuked. They don't like being instructed. They don't like instructions. They don't like being taught. Those are losers. But winners are people who are looking for instructions. They are looking to be taught, to be trained. They want to learn everything. They want to know everything. They want to try out everything. David was amongst the sheep. He was tested in the wilderness. Even David, David was tested first with a lion. But he took the challenge of facing the biggest warrior of the enemy. In the pastures. But he took on the biggest challenge. Even kings were afraid to face that man. Even commanders of the army were afraid to face that man. Because he was too huge. Goliath was too huge. But David came out from the pastures. He came, he walked away from the ship. And he came. And he went against Goliath. And from that victory, I told you he was comfortable with the ship in the pastures. But he took the challenge. And he defeated Goliath and from that victory. See, first he took on a lion, he took on Goliath, and he took on kingdoms and empires. And he defeated them all and established the greatest kingdom of Israel. That was David. He didn't stay with the weak. Amen. He was a true winner. This year, what is the challenge that you are facing in your life? Some of you are unemployed. Some of you are not getting earning enough money. Some of you are in debt. There are challenges in our personal lives. And even there are challenges in our spiritual lives that we are facing today. Some of you cannot give up talak. Some of you cannot give up shikar. Some of you cannot give up alcohol. All of us are facing challenges. Even spiritual challenges. We are facing challenges. But we need to act like a winner. We need to rise.
physical and physical. We need to confront the challenge. That is the way to be a winner, amen? If you don't confront the challenge, you will never overcome it. So this year, do not let the challenges intimidate you. Face it. Take it on. Don't be a loser. Be a winner. Losers, they need to be comf comforted. They have self-pity, you know. They need somebody to come and say, it's okay, oh, you are the best, oh. They need someone to come and comfort them and encourage them. Every time they have self-pity, nobody cares about me, nobody comforts me, nobody supports me. But winners, they do it by themselves. Amen? They do it by themselves. They rise up by themselves. I will rise up and I will go to my father's house. That's the attitude that they have. But losers, they are like a bit CC. You need to go and tell them, hey, be on the village. You need to get through them like a baby. Aaron, I will bring you Mitai, so don't cry. Losers. They're always waiting for people to come and do that to them. They want your sympathy. And they think that they're losers because you are not looking after them. You are not sympathizing with them. You don't understand them. You are not helping them. But if we're going to be like that, we're going to be losers all the time. Because we are depending on other people. But other people, they have their own challenges and their own struggles. Huh? Big or small. Everybody has got their own challenges and their own struggles. Yes. You got struggle coming to church in time. You got struggle coming to church with two babies. One on this side, one on this side. You will struggle getting up early in the morning and getting dressed in time for church. Big or small, everybody has got their own challenges. And if you are waiting for other people to come and take care of you while they ignore their own needs and their own challenges, you will have to wait all the time. You have to rise up on your own two feet if you want to be a winner. Amen. Winners, they stand up for themselves and they face the challenges no matter what it is like. So it was tough following Jesus. But they knew what they were after. If you know what you are after, if you have a vision, if you have an ambition, and you know what you are after, and you know what you are with, you will never quit. You will never leave. You will get stronger and stronger each day. You will pursue it even more and more. You will chase even more and more. Until you get it. Unlike those disciples who said, it is too difficult for me to follow Jesus. And they went away. I'm glad it's difficult to follow even me, but you're still here. Let us grow together. And this is my final words for you. Stand among the tallest. You might be shorter than others, but stand with the tallest. Stand upright among the tallest. Don't think of yourself as lesser or smaller. Amen. Hey, I'm too short. I need to wear high heels. No. Wear high attitude. Have a high 
esteem of yourself. Amen. Not a low esteem of yourself. Surround yourself with brave people. Amen. Surround yourself with people who are so strong and they take on challenges and then you want to follow them. You want to follow their lead. Amen. They are brave. They will not run away. They will face everything. Stay with those people. Surround yourself with the brave. Walk with the lions. Yeah. Walk among the lions. Or should I say, walk among the chickens? That's an easy advice to follow, right? Pastor told us to walk among the chickens and walk with the chickens. So I'm just staying with the chickens. And the chickens will not harm you, no danger at all. No risk, no challenges. I'm very comfortable here. Walk among the lions. Be daring. Amen. This year, let this be in your heart. Let this challenge be in your heart. And those of you who are without job will get a job. Those of you who have no money will get money. Those of you who are in debt will pay back your debts. Those of you who are spiritually weak will become spiritually strong. Hello? Looks like you didn't hear me today. All of you are like uh, sitting like losers. I don't know. Maybe something wrong with my spectacles or... All of you are saying like that, but I'm expecting that we you know, fasting will still go on for another five hours. <laughs> <laughs> Winners! Man. Yeah, just let know. It's not easy to hang around with me. There's some people who are hiding from me, even. but if you want to be a winner, you know where to go. Like Peter. Jesus, you have the eternal life. And even if it is difficult, it is hard, I cannot leave you. Or you have some other reasons of coming to this church other than Jesus. Because I'm handsome, people call me Bula. Yeah, those of you who are struggling to come to church, take up the challenge. Those of you who are struggling, I know it's not easy to be a winner, but we can be a winner. Amen.